Welcome to Internet Watch. I'm Joshua Ritogun, your guide through the latest trends, virus stories, and breaking news from the digital world. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's sparking outrage across the internet. The recent suspension of licensed verification services by the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria, the NMCN. Nigerian nurses are already stretched thin, battling overwork, low pay, and a lack of appreciation. Now, with this suspension, the aspiration to work abroad or advance their careers have hit a brick wall. The outcry is loud and it's clear that this move is seen as a blow to the healthcare community, with many calling it an unfair tactic to keep nurses trapped in a broken system. Stay tuned as I take you through the comment section. Our favorite online doctor is saying five words to describe Nigerian nurses. Number one, overworked underpaid, overused, underappreciated, and underfulfilled. This is why we must all lend our voices to speak up for the Nigerian nurses. It is wrong, it is criminal, and it is evil to force them to stay in a system that is designed to destroy their lives. Moving over to the next comment section. I have Ogi. Ogi is saying, now imagine hospitals without nurses and doctors. How long can governments hold on to this bully? Like I mean, ignoring even the elders. If the elders like, let them, if the elders like, let them go to work, oh, everyone shut down first. Cause the worst is already playing out. It's already playing out. Nurse Bassi is saying, nurses are frequently made the scapegoats for unfavorable policies in the healthcare sector because it comes to recognition and benefits because because it, when it comes to recognition and benefit we are left with the scraps we have endured marginalization for an extended period and it's time for a change hashtag nos deserves better again from nos basi nos basi is saying is it not possible to embark on a nationwide strike or do we still need nannm to take the first step Hashtag nurse deserve better. He's a nurse, so he's, this is his own outcry. This is his own uh, uh, cry for help. Moving over to the last comment section. Um, the last comment I have, Victor. Victor saying, enough is enough of this. It is wrong and it is um, oppressing the, the nurses. I'm sorry, we cannot display that to you. Well, moving over to our next story. We're turning our focus to a critical issue that has been blending Africans, bleeding Africa's economy dry, illicit financial flows. Now, this post was made by the NTA Network News. Minister of Foreign Affairs Yusuf Tuga recently highlighted that Africa loses a staggering 88.6 billion US dollar every year to these illegal activities an amount equivalent to the 3% of the continent's JDP. Speaking at the 6th Annual General Assembly of the Network of Anti-Corruption Agencies in Africa, Minister Tuga emphasized the urgent need for both regional and global cooperation to combat corruption. He pointed out that corruption has deeply infiltrated African institutions, eroding public trust and worsening poverty and inequality. Because of time, I won't be able to read the whole post, but comment section went wild on this. And this was on Facebook. Abdul Karim is saying, in my view, the speech could have emphasized the importance of grassroots involvement and civil society engagement in combating corruption, ensuring that efforts are not solely top-down, but also encompass the voices and actions of local communities. Moving over, I have Ali. Ali is saying, this government English is just too much. Please, Nigerians need action. Please. The hunger is too much. Everyone is complaining, not just even in the country of Nigeria, but in the whole Africa. Ibrahim is saying, who are to blame? He's asking, who are to blame? African leaders, particularly Nigerians. The, the leaders of Nigeria. Alexander is saying, long sentence meaning uh, nothing meaningful inside. Like there is nothing meaningful. There is nothing tangible in the speech that could, you know, carry water or do anything. Zachariah is saying, Zachary is saying, um, how can the corrupts bring a solution to end corruption? 
How can the corrupt bring solution to end corruption? It's a very good question, a very big question. Baba Ghana is saying African leaders that are stealing hundreds of millions of dollars and go to the West for safe landing Western countries that give them room is depositing in depositing the stolen money are to blame. Of course, we've seen cases of uh, uh, leaders after losing a whole lot of money disappear out of the country. It is really disheartening. It's, it's sad. And as I come to the end of today's watch, here's a fun fact. Consistency is the secret sauce behind every great achievement. Whether it's mastering a skill, building a habit, or even keeping up with the latest news online. Showing up regularly is what sets the best apart from the rest. It's like putting one brick on top of another. Over time, you have built something solid and impressive. And that's the wrap for today's Internet Watch. I am Joshua Ritogun. It's been a pleasure bringing you the stories that matter. Don't forget to tune in next time as we continue to explore the headlines and trends shaping our digital world. Stay informed, stay curious, and most importantly, stay consistent. Thank <laughs> you.